Now, after that wild ride, we had a pretty wild ride. Uh, Everybody still seen it? <laughs> Did you say anything about really... The smoking program in Minnesota is leading the effort to reduce secondhand smoke wherever children are present. Minnesota's... A Gladewater man was killed just 6 o'clock last night, just after 6 o'clock, in a one-vehicle accident on Highway 135, less than a mile south of Highway 271 in Gregg County. DPS officers say 41-year-old Dale Allen Rebel was apparently speeding when he left the road. Tell you what, the rain chances are getting better, so we're going to move mm -hmm. that sesquicentennial banquet back from tonight to next week. Next Friday. Actually, it's next yeah. Friday night. Uh -huh. so. And the parade is a week for Sunday, so a bit of everything except snow. Your forecast today, we're going to see a pretty good chance of afternoon thunderstorms, a warm, windy day with a high temperature up around 80. And tonight, thunderstorms are likely. Some will probably be severe if we actually see some, and the low down around 60. Tomorrow? This is Brian Houston. Tonight at 5 and 6 on Region 56 News, the biggest story of the year, ranking right up there with hell freezing over and pigs flying, Laura Duke receives flowers for Valentine's Day. Details at 6. Clifton Brumley, the prison trustee who frightened East Texas when he escaped from prison and went on a robbery and kidnapping spree, is on trial in a Tyler court. A jury in Dallas, you might want to call this one the Dallas Dome, they want to crown the Cotton Bowl. They want to top off the old stadium. A Marshall man says it's his constitutional right to paint filthy words on his house, but his neighbors think it's sick. And our Todd Boatwright tells us this is Louis Gonzalez's way of getting back at the girlfriend who did him wrong. Yeah, just thinking about that. Listen up and be on the lookout for the people you're about to... That thing come with parachutes? Good luck. <laughs> Night, everybody. See you tomorrow. Thanks very much for joining us. The Associated Press has named KETK, Region 56, Station of the Year in Texas. The response to our fat-free and healthy campaign keeps coming in. This letter is from the employees of Tyler's Federal Courthouse. And they well, convicted child molester Larry Don McQuay is now facing the possibility of castration. Some people say that's extreme, but others think it's the perfect punishment. Oh, well, they just wanted to avoid eating anything orange. That was the deal. <laughs> Night, everybody. Thanks for joining us. The Press Club of Dallas is named KETK Region 56, best media market newscast in Texas. In 56 News at Sunrise. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Waging a war against teen smoking in East Texas will tell you how it's being done, and a Glade Waterman. The producers over at the Lisa Show were feeling a little zany when they titled the following segment, Unbelievable Video Tip. <laughs> oh, fun! But if you want to talk about zany, meet Rick Ackberger. Ooh. Rick Ackberger. Ack. There's nothing this painfully extroverted individual won't do in order to call attention to, to himself including calling himself Rick Ackberger. <laughs> Up next, we're going to see Rick portray a popular TV celebrity and a human cereal flake. Not necessarily in that order. I want you to watch what he did to win some backstage passes to Aerosmith. <laughs> They're putting honey on him. He's supposed to be a spoon here. He's got nuts on him. Yeah. And he's going to dive into a cereal bowl. Watch this. <laughs> of milk. Food, and, and he's milking the Don't moment. Look at this. <laughs> they asked, you know, didn't you feel nuts? And he said, yeah. Next question. He also won $1,000 with his Halloween costume. Do you want to meet this guy? His name is Rick. Come on out. Whoa! A 
<laughs> Great to be here. Yeah. Mm, you were that close. 